Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my first part of my makeup inventory. And oops, <laughs> she slipped. Uh, we're gonna talk about just base products. We're gonna talk about foundations, concealers, primers, and face powders. All that is a base product for your face. And um, in this video, if you've never watched an inventory video from me before, I share with you guys all the products. However, I don't show you guys the products that are currently in a project pan or the, the, or the products that are in my products I want to use up for 2024. Reason being is I don't want them getting mixed up with the products that I'm not currently having on rotation. And I don't want to forget them when I, like at the time that I'm putting all my stuff away, forget something and then put something that I'm planning on panning or that I'm currently panning back into the drawers and then forget about it until I do an update, for example. So uh, you guys have seen it. Uh, it's just, you're not gonna see it in this video. But when I do the final numbers at the end, um, they will be included in the numbers. So I hope that kind of makes sense. So uh, without any more rambling, let's get started with the products and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, okay, I have my primers here. So they're all almost full sized with the exception of the last two. So I'll get to those later. I have first here my Too Faced Primed and Peachy uh, Primer. I freaking love this. I've used a full size of that before. No, no a deluxe size sample of this before and multiple minis and I absolutely loved it. So sad that this has been discontinued but as you guys can see I have a little uh, travel size over here so I kind of technically have two. Then this Catrice uh, Prime and Fine Primer. Never used it so we'll see how I like it. The Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. which is supposed to be a dupe for the one from Milk Makeup which I absolutely adore. Uh, so I'm hoping that this will be a good dupe for that. I haven't used it yet. This one from e.l.f. I, I didn't know if to put it in a foundation category or in the primer category. So I just went ahead and I put it here because this is kind of a product that you can use under your foundation if you choose to use foundation or you can use it alone. So um, because you can wear it under the foundation, I decided to put it here in the primer category. But this is the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. It's supposed to be a dupe for something from Charlotte Tilbury, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm excited to try it. Then I have the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Primer. It's an oil-free primer, so we'll see about that. Then this one from Touch and Soul. I've used one of these before and I absolutely loved it. So when I saw it at Marshalls um, for $9.99, um, I decided to pick it up because I thought it was great. Really, really enjoyed my time using this one. And then as you guys, as I said before, this is the Primed in Peachy, the deluxe size sample of the full size over there. And then this is the one my mom gave me. Uh, it's a little deluxe size of the Estee Lauder, the Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer. I've used one of these before. It's just a cake, kind of like your generic silicone primer. It's not something that I would personally buy in the full size. And then the second part of my primers are the mini primers, as you guys can see here. So I have a ton. Most of these came with a special code that I entered for some purchase that I made at Ulta couple of years ago now so these are getting, kind of getting old in age but it's okay they're brand new most of them are still shrink wrapped as you guys can see but anyway we'll get started i have two potted ones one from tarte the Ti timeless smoothing primer and then the elf poreless putty primer which i believe is supposed to be a dupe for the tatcha silk canvas which i have used and i do love so we'll see how much i like that one then i have the liquid version of that tatcha silk canvas primer Never tried it, but we'll see if I like it. I have two minis from NYX. One is a pore filler and the other one is shine killer. I have two from Ulta Beauty. One is the mattifying and the other one is a pore lit, is a, like a pore fill, filling primer. Then I have uh, the no pore, pore blend, no pore blend primer. I always struggle to say that. Uh, from Touch and Soul, as you guys saw, I have the full size. I have this little one from Cover FX, the water cloud primer. I have used it before and I did enjoy it. Then I have two of the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock uh, Primer and then a little baby one from the Urban Decay All Nighter uh, Face Primer. I've never used it, so I'm intrigued to use it. I have on the bottom row here, uh, this one from Tula, the Prime of Your Life Smoothing Primer, the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Primer, two minis of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, kind of like the primer that set the bar for all these other silicone primers, I feel like. This little mini one from Dermablend, 
this one from uh, Rare Beauty, which I believe is a um, like a glowy primer. I have two mini ones here from Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Correct and the Photo Finish Primerizer. Don't know what the difference is on this one, uh, but I feel like this one's gonna be kind of like a colored primer, uh, maybe even a gray, a green color primer. And then this one from Lancome, the La Base Pro. I have used it before. I just thought it was an all right primer, nothing to write home about. And then I have this baby one from Professional, the the oh yeah, the Professional. I do have the full size in my products I want to use up in 2024. So hopefully I'll get through that one um, in during the year of 2024. Starting off with foundations, I can already tell that this is bigger than it was last year <laughs> uh, and it's not even counting like I had said the ones that I'm currently using the ones that are in my hoping to finish in 2024 so uh, I gotta kind of slow it down when it comes to foundation so I feel like not much change from last year but let's just go through them so I still have my Too Faced Peach Perfect uh, Comfort Matte Foundation I have the Urban Decay Stay Naked uh, foundation. I have these two tinted moisturizers from Laura Mercier. These are brand new. As you can see, I bought them at Marshalls. Um, <clears throat> and then the Tarte Shape Tape. Uh, I think this, I don't know if this one has been discontinued. I remember buying it um, during the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, I believe. Uh, but I don't know if they still have it. And then this one from Lancome. This is a Tain Title um, Ultra Wear foundation. This one from Kat Von D I bought at Marshalls. Uh, this one is from Maybelline, the Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. And then this one is from L'Oreal, the True Match um, Foundation Serum. I haven't used it yet, but I'm hoping that I'll like it. I feel like it'll be very lightweight. And then so all these on the top row are brand new. These ones on the bottom are not brand new. So sometime during the year... I started using uh, one of the, I had three as you can see, uh, but I opened one and I used maybe, I don't, I don't know, maybe a third of it. I was kind of franken mixing it with other foundations. And once I finished the other foundations, I didn't feel like carrying on with this one. So this was partially used due to the container, uh, the packaging. I can't tell exactly how much I have left, but I know that I have, I think more than half for sure. And then this one is one of the ones my mom decluttered to me. The Lancome Skin Feels Good. Uh, this is supposed to be a tinted moisturizer. Uh, no, I think it's just supposed to be a foundation. Um, but I haven't used it. And then this one from L'Oreal True Match. This is obviously way too light for me. And one. Uh, and this is, I have a couple of foundations that are a little too dark for me. And even last year I had one that was a little too dark. And I used this one to help lighten the color. So this is kind of like my mixing foundation. So it's going to be a while before I use this one up. Because I feel like most of these match me pretty well so those are my foundations i'm sorry guys since i'm not filming this in order <laughs> i just found another primer i mean foundation uh this was kind of sneaking in my primers but this is the bye bye foundation uh this is a full coverage moisturizer i have mine in the color light medium and i'm excited to try it for concealers i feel like i've had the same ones as i did last year this one is the LA Girl Pro Conceal uh, High Definition Concealer. I've used one of these before and I know that I like it. Then I have this one from Maybelline Fit Me. This is the uh, Fit Me Concealer. I've also used one of these before and I know that I like it. From Huda Beauty, this is the uh, the Overachiever Concealer. I haven't used it, it's brand new. And this one is also brand new from Lancome, the Tang Title Wear uh, Camouflage Concealer. Uh, haven't used it. Hopefully I'll like it. This one from Marc Jacobs has been discontinued. I did buy this at Marshalls, I believe. Yes, for $13. Uh, and I have used one of these before and I absolutely loved it. So I can't wait to get my hands on this guy because I think it's it's a great concealer. And it's kind of kind of one of those um, two-in-one products where you can use it as a concealer or as a foundation. I tended to... I tended? Is that how you say it? I used it as a... As a foundation all over my face and I absolutely adored it and last but not least for this section I have my face powders because these said everything and I kind of have it separated in two sections I have the loose powder and the pressed powder the loose powder they're kind of all the same with the exception of this one but I have three that are uh, brand new I have the Too Faced again peach perfect when they discontinued this as you guys can see I kind of stocked up on as much as I could from these products. This was such a good line. I don't know why they got rid of it. 
sad sad face and then i have the all-nighter setting setting powder from urban decay i haven't used it but i'm a fan of the all-nighter setting spray so i kind of wanted to get everything that was all-nighter and then this one is not in a box but it's still new this is the cover fx what is it called perfecting setting powder and this one is brand new i will show you it still has the the little sticker here on the sifter so that's still brand new the ones that are not brand new are these two this one from too faced the uh, born this way powder love this powder i got this um a couple years ago based off of the uh, recommendation of love heatherette she loves this powder and i barely opened it this year once i finished the powders that i was working on and let me tell you guys i freaking love this powder i think i like it more than the laura mercier one um and that's saying ooh, and that is saying a lot so um i think i would repurchase this one in a heartbeat and then this one surprised me this is from the drugstore it's the maybelline fit me this is in the shade fair light which concerns me because the shade range in this is horrible and i feel like the labeling of the colors is really bad too because i am not fair nor light in any way shape or form yet this is the color that matches me <laughs> and it matches me pretty well this unfortunately doesn't have a sifter that I can remove, so I do have to tap like product onto the, ta the cap here, which is why I re like removing the sifters. I like to dip my brush directly into the product, but this one doesn't have that, so mm, unfortunately that's that. But I did start using this one um, at the beginning, I mean later on this year in 2023, and um, I like it. I am not using it right now because I have two other powders that I started using because of Project Penning, so this one back into my collection but it is partially used. So these two are, are partially used. These pressed powders are brand new, haven't used them. And um, I have, I'm currently using two pressed powders and I think I have one or two in my products I wanna pan in 2024. So it'll be a while before I get to these guys, but this one is, oh wait, <laughs> this is a bronzer, forget about that. So then I have two. I was wondering, so the one that I have in 2024, uh, that one I will use in 2024, I think it's from Becca, and that's why I, I got confused. So this is a bronzer, scratch that. <laughs> so I only have these two. The one from uh, Charlotte Tilbury, the airbrush, um, what is this called? Perfecting powder. I love this powder, I think it's great, but the price is stupid ridiculous. I don't think it's worth the price. I mean, I it's a good powder, but it's like $45 and I guess right now at this point in my life, I don't, I can't justify spending $45 on a powder. Maybe a couple years ago I did. It wasn't a big deal, but now it is. Um, it just depends on where I am in my, like financially am in the world. And currently I am not in a place where I can spend $45 on a blush, on a powder. But anyway, tangent over. The other one is the Urban Decay, Urban Decay Prince Press Powder. I bought this when they had the special collection. Um, like a Prince collection, they had I think uh, some eyeliners and a and a eyeshadow palette or something. But I just got the powder. It's supposed to be like an all nighter waterproof setting powder, and because it said all nighter, I figured it would be kind of like an all nighter press powder. I don't know. Marketing, I guess they got me. Who knows? But <laughs> those are all the powders that I have. There you have it, guys. Those are all the base products that I currently owned. Stay tuned at the end because, like I said, at the very end of this series i'm gonna have tallies of how much uh the numbers have changed i feel like i didn't buy a lot this year with the except of the foundations i feel like every other category i didn't really buy much but we won't know the numbers uh exactly until i do my makeup uh empties for 2023 and we compare numbers from my inventory to the empty so we'll see uh that's all i have for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one